in uh, in Dutch. I can't really get bothered with the fact that I need to change my language. So I'm like, I'm just going to do it in the Dutch version. It doesn't really matter. It's almost the same as long as you do what I'm doing and that's all. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the this and we're going to right click it and then we're going to create the O file, which is I think circle in, in the English version. And we're just going to create that. We're going to click the shift button and and we're gonna let it go. You have correctly. It's a circle, and then it's a lightning in the middle. So we're gonna use, we're gonna create that. So yeah, I'm gonna select it and put it in the middle because it's a bit annoying if it's not in the middle. So we're gonna create the the outlines now in black. So we're already gonna put that on um, red, and we're gonna make the background in red as well. So that's the first step to create the logo and now we're going to create the lightning if I'm correctly the lightning is a bit out of it so we're going to start here and we're going to use the pen tool just gonna click here and then we're gonna click here and we're gonna click somewhere I believe here and then we're gonna click here you can always change these by the way it doesn't really matter um, so yeah, um, just gonna click here and then here, and then we're gonna click here. Okay, this thing looks a bit bullshit, so we're gonna change that. Um, of course, we're gonna have to change the colors because now it's on dark color, and well, the logo is red is not red, so it's gonna be yellow. And we're gonna change this as well because now that's also in that color, and we want to put that in yellow as well. So yeah, that's the start of this. And that's my virus scanner who's telling me that it was doing it. It did something. Okay, that's not important. Okay, so we got the yellow one. I need to select the right, the right yellow, so we're going to use that. Okay, so that was the first step. Now, as you can see, now it's too small, so we're gonna use the weight and we're gonna drag this a bit more here. Then it's more down, I think that's correct, and then this a bit more here, and there's a bit more here. I believe that this is the break kind of how it should be. I'm gonna make it big bigger now, so I'm gonna use the Arrow, and then I'm going to use select the shift button and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And then check it, see if it works. I think that this is alright for the first um, try out. I've never uh, tried this out before, so just mind that with me. I'm going to put this more to that site. That looks better. Yeah, I think that this is the logo for now. And of course, as I said, I also want to do the other version because I'm a uh, also fan of the first, so we're going to save this one as a vector, so we're going to file, then we're going to save as, and we're going to create it, and we're going to call it um, test, uh, no, we're going to have this going to the flash logo, and we're going to save that in our documents, and we're going to save it. We can do it as a, set, as a CC version, and but in uni, I need to work with the CS6 version, so I'm going to use the CS6 version for this. That's just to make sure that I can also use the other one, and yeah, to make sure that I can use it. And if other people have the CS6 version, they can use that, so that's why I'm going to use that one. I'm going to click on OK, and then it's going to say something about some message, about la la la, and then I'm just going to click on OK. Um, so that's done. And now I'm going to do the switch version. So that's the exact same how this works. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to put this on yellow. And I'm going to make the surroundings into yellow. And then we're going to grab the lightning. And we're going to change that to red. Uh, I see that I didn't select the right yellow. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Red. And if we're going to use this, uh, we're going to put that onto red as well. So red. 
So now we have the reversed Ledge logo, and we're gonna save that as well. So we're gonna go File, Save As. That's what it is, and the answer now that gold is reversed. Flush. Logo. Now we're gonna click on Save. Same as here, I'm going to select the C6, CS6 version so that anyone can open it. I got the CC version, that's clear. And I'm going to click on OK. So now we got the both versions. The good thing about Illustrator is that it's now vectored. It means that you can open it in any program and it won't change. It will stay the same. That's the big difference between working in Illustrator or in Photoshop. I prefer working with these kind of things in Illustrator. So I hope you guys liked it and I see you in my next video.